When the main rotor blades of a helicopter rotate, they generate lift, which allows the helicopter to fly. However, this rotation also generates torque, a force that tends to rotate the helicopter's fuselage in the opposite direction of the rotor blades. For example, in many helicopters like the R-22 and the R-44, the main rotor blades rotates counterclockwise when viewed from above. As a result, the fuselage tends to rotate clockwise to the right due to the reactionary force torque. Without a way to counteract this torque, the helicopter would uncontrollably spin in the direction opposite of the main rotor blades, making stable flight impossible. That's why we have the tail rotor. The tail rotor provides the necessary counteracting force to balance the torque generated by the main rotor. It achieves this by producing thrust in the horizontal direction, perpendicular to the main rotor's rotation. So how does this work? The tail rotor consists of a small set of blades mounted on the vertical or near vertical axis at the end of the helicopter's tail boom. These blades spin rapidly, similar to the main rotor, and the angle of their blades, called the pitch, can be adjusted by the pilot using the anti-torque pedals. By increasing the pitch of the tail rotor blades, more air is pushed sideways, increasing thrust, and decreasing the pitch reduces thrust. The amount of thrust generated by the tail rotor must be carefully balanced with the torque produced by the main rotor. In some conditions, such as high altitude, high temperature, or heavy loads, the tail rotor may become less effective due to the reduced air density. This is why proper power management and awareness of the environmental conditions are critical for safe flight. LTE, or loss of tail rotor effectiveness, is the hazardous condition where the tail rotor cannot generate enough thrust to counteract the main rotor torque, often leading to an uncommanded yaw. While the tail rotor is the most common method of counteracting torque, some helicopters use different systems, such as the Fenestron, is a ducted fan located in the tail system, providing a quieter, more efficient thrust, or the Notar system, which uses jets of air expelled from the tail rotor boom to create a sideways force that counteracts torque. Proper use of the tail rotor is crucial for maintaining stable flight and ensuring safe maneuverability in various flight conditions. If you're ready to dive deeper into the world of helicopters, check out the free Getting Started Helicopter course in the description below. And as always, please feel free to like and subscribe.